today we're going to be working on lead code question number 188 best time to buy and sell stock uh, part 4 so you have been given an integer array prices where the prices of i is the price of a given stock on the ith day and an integer k k is basically you can complete at most k transactions now you may not engage in multiple transactions simultaneously you must sell uh, the stock before you buy again so on one day we can sell it and the next day we can buy it and we have to buy it first uh, buy on day one and sell on day two and we're gonna uh, end up making profit of two over here we can sell over buy here sell here buy here sell here so gonna end up making a profit of total of seven uh, we're gonna be doing it using a dynamic programming uh, we're gonna uh, like the uh, there are gonna be some base cases here which we're gonna cover first let's say that the n is equal to the length of the prices and then what if the n the total number of uh, the total number of like the inputs we have been given meaning the total number of prices is less than two the answer is gonna be zero because you cannot just make any profit so that's the first uh, base condition we're gonna cover so if n is less than two we're gonna be returning zero. Another condition which we're gonna cover is what if the k is too big? Too big that it is even bigger than half of the total number of prices, right, of the stocks. In that case, the logic becomes quite easy that we're gonna try to buy and sell every single, like try to buy and then sell, buy and then sell, buy and then sell, and we are guaranteed that that's how we're gonna be making the maximum profit. So if the k is greater than equal to n floor division by 2, if that is the case, uh, we're going to uh, say that the maximum profit is initially 0, then you're going to go through, uh, then you're going to go through for i uh, in the range, oops, uh, in the range of n minus 1, and then you're going to keep incrementing the profit uh, with basically the max between if you are making the profit by prices of i plus 1 minus prices of i or if you're not, if it is negative just keep it zero because we don't want to do that transaction and then return the maximum profit let's say if we now once we have covered these two uh, base cases now we're going to come up with our dp solution we're going to have an n cross k plus one matrix uh, filled with zeros so for that our first one is going to be like for everything inside the range of k plus one and for everything inside the uh, n range of n so we just initialize our dp array what we're gonna go through is like we're gonna say that uh, go through uh, basically we're gonna go through the whole thing right we're gonna go through uh, k plus one uh, inside the total number of columns and the n are gonna be the rows so instead and go through everything so i trade through this dp matrix right so k1 is going to be in the range of 1 and k plus 1 then similarly we're going to say for i in the range of 1 to n right uh, but we have to initialize one thing. We, what we're going to be doing is like we're going to say that the local max is going to be equal to the first price. 
but the negative one because that's how we have to buy it so our what do you call our profit is going to be negative of the prices of the first element like the first time we have to buy it and we are thinking that this is how now we, we we, we are assuming or initializing uh, that we're going to start with buying the first stock. Okay, now we are every single time we're going to be calculating the DP of I and every single time we're going to be uh, updating our local max. So talking about the local max, it's going to be the max between the local max and the DP of the previously like used ones where we were so basically we're going to take the diagonal value here I minus 1 and K1 minus 1 minus because ho both of them represents the 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 profit not just the stock itself so it's going to be the prices of I so we're taking the current value but we are actually saying that either keep the local max the previous local max or update it with the uh, the diagonally dp value minus the current prices value now coming back to this dp of i we're gonna take the we're gonna say that it is the maximum of the dp of the one on the left right dp of i minus one and then k K and uh, sorry and the K one N so either it's gonna be when we don't do the transaction right when we don't do the transaction and we just take the previous I minus one value or it's gonna be the prices of I plus the local max So you have the local max, which was the the uh, but we have to add it with the prices because that's gonna tell you that okay you you you're gonna have this much of profit. So that's how we're gonna update our DP, and then in the end we're gonna be returning the DP of n minus one. Okay. So it's the uh, bottom down uh, approach. Oh, this, yeah. So it says that it's gonna be this one. Yeah, we have to do like in order to calculate the profit it's gonna be yeah the next element uh, minus the current element that's gonna give us the profit let's see how it does for the other test cases yep and it did pass all the test cases 